Welcome to the latest edition of Garner Update. I'm your host, Arlie Honeycutt. Garner honored its veterans at a Veterans Day observance attended by several hundred people at Avisboro Road Baptist Church. <laughs> The event featured performances by the Garner Magnet High Wind Ensemble, Avisboro Elementary School Choir, and Dana Stevenson Dixon. It also included a moving presentation to family members of Alex Sheffield Stroud, who died serving in Vietnam. Family members were given replacements of honors Stroud received in 1968, as well as a flag flown in his honor over the United States Capitol. The keynote speaker at the service was retired Colonel Baron Hignight. Each year on November the 11th, our country pauses to pay tribute to the veterans of all the services. We do so so we can thank you and show our appreciation for your service. History shows that before we were a country even, before we had even inaugurated our first president or ratified the Constitution, soldiers were defending what we considered our inalienable God-given rights. The annual observance was organized by Avisboro Road Baptist, the Garner Veterans Advisory Committee, and American Post Legion 232, VFW Post 10225, and the town of Garner. Garner-based Butterball, Community of Hope Ministries, and others teamed up to provide free turkeys and other food for Thanksgiving feasts to more than 170 households at an event at First Baptist Church in Garner on November 13th. In addition to distributing food to those in attendance, turkeys and other items were provided to Garner Area Ministries, the Capitol Church Food Pantry, the Garner United Methodist Church Hope Program, and Able to Serve. And vouchers were distributed to attend Angie's Restaurant's annual Thanksgiving meal. Additional sponsors of the charity efforts included Carolina Comfort Air, Nash Produce, Alco Custom Cabinets, Wing Swept, The Village of Avisboro, and Mayor Ronnie Williams. Make plans to bundle up and come on out for the town's annual downtown tree lighting ceremony, Light Up Maine, on Friday, December 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. Town dignitaries and Santa and Mrs. Claus will lead the lighting of the town tree along Main Street at approximately 6.10 p.m. That will be followed by an array of local live entertainment, face painting, free children's craft activities, and, of course, a chance for kids to visit with Santa and Mrs. Claus. Visit GarnerNC.gov for more details. The next afternoon, Garner will hold its annual Christmas parade starting at 2 p.m. The parade route winds its way along Garner Road and Main Street. Expect several dozen community-based entries in this year's parade. Come on out and enjoy this cherished Garner tradition with friends, family, and neighbors. For information on parking and other details, please visit GarnerNC.gov. Two of the three shows in this year's award-winning Broadway Voices series have already sold out, but tickets are still available for the January 13th performance by Lauren Kennedy at Garner Performing Arts Center. Kennedy is known for her work as Fontaine in Les Mis and Norma Desmond in Sunset Boulevard. Don't put off getting tickets, they make great holiday gifts. You can learn more and purchase tickets at GarnerPerformingArtsCenter.com. And that's it for this episode of Garner Update. Thanks for watching. I'm Arlie Honeycutt.